When Russell Crowe was on the show a couple of weeks back, nothing quite like tonight. Like the two young ladies who are here after spending 13 hours on a train from Melbourne just to see my first guest. And tomorrow morning at 7am, they'll get back on the train and they'll spend another 13 hours going home. Is that right? Yeah. Was it a long trip? Yeah. Yeah, pretty long, yeah. All part of a worldwide phenomenon called the, uh, the Heath Wave. A young bloke from Perth who at 22 is already one of the hottest stars in Hollywood. Would you please welcome actor Heath Ledger. Could you believe, welcome, could you believe, would you ever, ever have done that for anybody as a, as a kid? Would you? Um, I guess so, yeah, someone, a, a sporting hero of mine was, or something. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. That's amazing, but a few, it's, <laughs> is it weird to see yourself, you say it's sporting, is, when you drive around Los Angeles, for example, and you see your face up at a billboard or on a, the back of a bus, is that weird? Uh, yeah, it is, it's really weird, it's, um, I don't know, it, if, if anything, it's just, it's surreal, you know, I find it funny. Does it you look know, like I, someone else, or do you think, say, that's me? <laughs> Yeah, no, you realise it's you, um, obviously, but um, I don't know, I get, I get really nervous with it, and I get very self-conscious of it, but um, I guess I'm learning to deal with it a little better these days, and... Uh, it's all been so quick, are you, are you still bedazzled by Hollywood? Do you, I mean, these, this is the, the stuff of legends that we all grow up with, and it's only a few years ago that you were in Perth, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is, but um, I don't know, I've taken my time, I've, I've chosen to stay out of the whole, you know, dazzlement of Hollywood, I... Um, you know, I have my own life, I have my own friends, and um, I don't know, I, I keep grounded through that, especially my friends back home here in Australia, yes. and my family back here, they're really rich and they're strong, and, and I love them, and uh, I couldn't have done it without them, and can't do it without them. And but but do, you, do you find yourself wandering around Hollywood, uh, just driving around, and, and there's a plaque there that says, you know, like the Avenue of the Stars there, you see, this was Clark Gable, and this was Humphrey Bogart, and this was... Yeah. Oh, look, yeah, I, st I still, you know... Um, I can't help but get a little excited. I do. It's I, I love the industry. And who was um, your who was your favourite when you were a kid? Who, who was the idol? I don't know. I never really had one particular actor. I didn't. I, I I try to remember back to this and even a movie like a favourite movie that inspired me. And I never really had one. I guess um, now like the people I look up to are usually the people I, I've worked with, you know, and have a personal um, you know experience with them. Um, and I usually you know they they inspire me the most. You know, yeah. the Is it true? I mentioned the girls coming all the way from Melbourne. But uh, you, you went from, as a 70-year-old, you drove with 69 cents or 96 cents in your pocket all the way from Perth to Sydney? Uh, yeah, I Is did. Is that true? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't more or less, I think, for, for work. It was just more for life. You know, I really wanted to get out there and discover myself. And, uh, and um, I don't know, Perth's a wonderful place to grow up in as a kid. It's a wonderful place to leave as a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> um, and did you leave to, to go acting and find fame or, go, or, or just go? No, that's what I was saying. It was just, I had to go. There was a train that was flying past and it was taking me to life and I just had to jump on it and discover what was at the end. You know? Have you got to be, to, to do what you've done, which is extraordinary, have you got to be lucky or do you make your own luck? Um, I don't know. I mean, of course I'd say, well, you make your own luck, but, um, yeah, it's a bit of both. It really is. It's timing, um, but it's also the confidence in yourself to make your own luck. Yeah, you have to. Um, but I don't know, you know, I mean, it just doesn't come easily. No one comes knocking on your front door, put it that way. You really have to go out there and knock yourself, and, um, and that's it, really. And then you